Hey everybody, welcome to another good e-reader video tutorial. This is Marcus. Today I'm going to teach you how to copy ebooks to your Kobo Vox e-reader. We're going to show you how to copy books via Calibre, Adobe Digital Editions, and good old Windows Explorer. We're going to primarily work with the EPUB format because this is the format that is most compatible with the Vox. Although you can install third-party programs to use different form formats such as FB Reader, Eldico, and many others. So we're, we basically have all of those e-reader apps on our device. So we're pretty well going to use Eldico in order to read all the books that we manually copy over uh, to our e-reader. Uh, the Kobo Vox actually has a cool little feature when you load in EPUB books to your device it will actually import them to your default Kobo library shelf. In some cases the cover art may be missing especially if you have uh, the Kindle app or the Barnes & Noble Reader app installed on your device. It will actually import the EPUB books into your Kobo shelf but we notice that the cover art's missing. So uh, you just want to bear that in mind but you can use third-party programs. The first program that we're going to work with uh, today is Calibre. Uh, Calibre is an open source program. It's pretty well one of the premier applications that allow you to manage your e-reader and book collections. So you want to Google for Caliber and you can download it for free. It's updated with tremendous regularity so you're not messing with a program that was updated maybe six months ago. Pretty well every few weeks there is an update for it. So I'm going to show you how to work around Caliber in order to copy books to your Vox. So the first thing that you need is EPUB books. Caliber works best with non-DRM books or books that do not have digital rights management. So we're going to use a, a book here to test by James Patterson, Witch and Wizard the Fire. You can see here the cover art as well as it says format, path, and so on. So we're going to click on Edit metadata and just show you some things that Caliber can do. So it says Witch and Wizard the Fire by James Patterson. You notice that there are no tags or IDs or anything like that. So let's download the metadata and uh, fix all this up. Downloading metadata is one cool feature that populates ISBN numbers, reviews, notes, and so on. It talks to both Google and Amazon.com. If your book has no cover art, it will fetch the cover art for you. So you can see the different uh, book covers loading. We do have the right cover art, so we're going to click OK. You can see that some tags have been added, ISBN numbers, dates, you also see some comments, some other things here. So we're going to click OK. Now what we want to do is, uh, you know, copy this to our device. Now you notice if you have other e-readers, normally besides Fetch News and Help, a picture of your device will be there. And there is no plug-in yet for Calibre that recognizes the Kobo Vox. The developers say that within a few weeks we should see it. I'm going to show you the workaround right now if you wanted to use Calibre in the immediate, you know, here and now. You could basically click Save to Disk and then browse your computer to see the Kobo Vox. And you can see that all the various directories, you can just either copy it to your root or you can make a new folder. Let's call it Caliber eBooks. And I created a new folder and you can see that the book has been copied to it. There we go. Cover art and the EPUB file. Alternatively, you can click on connect and share and then connect to a folder. And you can click on the Kobo Vox. If you don't want to create a specific directory, you can just highlight the main directory. 
and then you see a new folder that has uh, just occurred called device. You can click on here and it will basically, you can copy the books directly to your device. So there's two different ways to basically do it. Um, I basically showed you both ways. So this is Calibre. This is Adobe Digital Editions. It's a free download. Many people say that they can't get Adobe Digital Editions to recognize their Kobo Vox, but we have. So what we're going to do, oh, oh, by the way, Adobe Digital Editions is a free download. It's primarily used to copy purchased content from other ebook stores to your e-reader. If you can't get Adobe Digital Editions to recognize your Kobo Vox, the great thing about Android is that you can download all of your third-party applications. So let's say that you have a Kobo Vox, but you've purchased books from Amazon, you've purchased books from Barnes & Noble and other stores, you can simply uh, download those applications to your Kobo Vox. By default, it doesn't really give you any ability to download those, uh, those applications, but we have written a great post uh, on our Good eReader blog. You simply want to go to goodereader.com slash blog, type in Kobo Vox apps, and you'll see some, you'll see on the very top here, essential Kobo Vox apps and tools. A picture of the Kobo Vox in the sun with a few of our favorite Android figures. We have mainstream e-reader apps, so Borders, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Sony, Google Books, and Overdrive. You can uh, either call this page up directly on your Vox and it will actually install these applications directly to your device, or you can um, download them to your computer. You can plug your Kobo Vox in via the micro USB and then you know, copy and paste these applications once you download them to your Vox, and then browse um, browse the applications on your Vox using you know a file manager. Incidentally, the Vox does not come with a file manager, but on this uh, tutorial here, we teach you how to do that. So what we want to do is copy a book uh, to the Vox. So we're gonna do. Last Breath, The Morganville Vampires by Rachel Kane. You notice that when we left click, we can drag it around. We see a lot of X's, but when we highlight the Kobo box here, there's a green. So we're gonna click on that. Now, when we look at the Kobo box, this book is actually on it. Now you don't have to do anything further from this other than once this book is here and the cover art and everything is like that it appears on your Kobo Vox, it's actually copied right to your Vox. The last method I want to show you is good old Windows Explorer a perennial favorite here. Now you see Adobe Digital Editions has created a folder here and here's the book. So a lot of people say that Adobe Digital Editions does not work with Kobo but you can see that Clearly this is not the case. You can also see Kindle folders and so on. Okay, so you see the Caliber eBooks directory that we created as well here. So everything seems to be okay. Uh, what I want to do basically is I want to copy a book over to my Vox. Now I can just drag and drop it to my Kobo Vox main directory here, but I like things to be a little bit more organized. So I'm just going to create um, a new folder. And this is clearly like your personal preference. So new folder, I'm gonna call it eBooks. All right, there's nothing in it right now. What I wanna do is kind of close everything down, but my eBooks directory. And here's the book here. I'm just gonna simply copy and paste it. And now this is on my Kobo Vox. So in this tutorial I've showed you how to use Calibre. I've showed you how to use Adobe Digital Editions and I've showed you how to use Windows Explorer. Of course like I said there's some essential Kobo Vox apps and tools here. You can download many uh, you know, independent reading apps, direct links to the downloads hosted on the Goody Reader servers as well as mainstream ebook reading apps comic book reading applications, 
alternative Android markets, the Cobalvox comes with Get Jar, which is not a great app store. Many people like the Amazon App Store if you're in the US. If you're in international markets, you want to try using the other ones. And then there's some ins essential installs. You really want to get Flash 11 on your device so you can watch embedded YouTube videos. If you don't want to install Flash, you can use Dolphin HD, which basically allows you to watch videos in real time. Of course, we have written a great post today if you have any questions or concerns on the Cobalvox. It's entitled, The Cobalvox is Having Some Problems. We already have a number of comments, and we basically let you know about the existing problems as well as the fixes, so charging and power issues. You can see all the titles of them here. Uh, we're updating this pretty well hourly as people are emailing us and uh, sending us messages as well as commenting on the thread. So if you have any problems with your Cobalvox, please let us know on this uh, thread here. And we will let you know how to fix your workaround and update the main post uh, so other people who are having the same problem as you might be able to fix it. So you have watched a goodie reader video tutorial and we have taught you today how to copy ebooks to your Cobalvox. For goodyreader.com, my name is Marcus, and you can catch all of our videos on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goodyreader, or you can check everything out on the video section of our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog. Everybody, take care.